Um, welcome to uh, IoT Minneapolis. Uh, once again, uh, looks like we have a lot of a lot of new faces here and, and some familiar faces. So uh, I'm Patrick Delaney. Uh, that's uh, Bill Falk over there. Uh, we uh, have put together this uh, smart home event, uh, and uh, we're really excited about it because. We've been taking these surveys over time, and uh, smart home is definitely the most popular uh, Internet of Things topic right now. Uh, there's a lot of talk about how <coughs> Internet of Things is it's a it's a hot word, or it's been a hot word, but it's going to be segmented into different different areas over the next few years as it just becomes more normalized. So I think uh, smart smart home is is a is a big one. So. Uh, I just wanted to uh, get started by, you know, talking a little bit about IoT views. I'll, I'll try to make it quick. Um, we had our we had a conference uh, back in March called IoT views. Uh, who here was able to make it out to that? Oh, quite a few people. Quite a few people. So maybe like a third of the a third of the people here. Um, basically, uh, what it was is um, is. Uh, <coughs> Um, it was an event that um, was, the philosophy behind it was you have all these makers and you have all this <coughs> cloud computing uh, type people and, and big data type people and then you have um, sort of the business and marketing people and it was, the idea is let's get them all together on one day. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to do it again next year. Uh, what we're trying to do is, is just kind of organize and, and, and improve Minnesota as an IoT um, kind of destination. And there was an article this week uh, from The Line magazine. I don't know, did anybody see this article? It's talking about uh, Minnesota as, or the Twin Cities as IoT Alley. So it, it, there's a lot of people out there who are talking about how we have all this experience and embedded because of our medical uh, sector and we have a lot of history in sort of mainframes, which is now sort of turned into into big data and you connect those two things together and you have a very powerful IoT infrastructure. And so uh, is that really true or was that kind of this guy's story? Well, what, what I've been a big believer in, partly just because I, I like this type of thing, is <laughs> startups. And uh, so I think what, what I think it would be awesome is if we're kind of like not only an IoT alley but an IoT startup hub and you know, I think we have a lot of these two things. We have rich people, we have nerds here. Um, so, but what do what do other people think? Well, this this was the uh, ratings from the uh, IoT Fuse conference. Uh, as you can see, we had uh, it was very well recommended and had a, had a lot of uh, value for for the money. So, in, in case people are thinking about that next year, uh, this was a survey of about I think I had about fifty people answer the survey. Well, one of the things I looked at was. Um, how are we positioned, you know, what, what's going to lead innovation in IoT? If we're IoT Alley, um, what leads innovation? I said, do startups lead IoT innovation? Uh, 4.11 out of 5 was that people agreed with that statement. Uh, however, it was a 3.63 that people thought that we were well positioned for being a startup alley. So, uh, that to me, that to me uh, says we're definitely in need of improvement. And, and so I'd like to direct this meetup and, and the activities I do in my life to, to help improve the ecosystem for startups here in, in the Twin Cities in, in any way that I can. So attract more nerds and attract more uh, rich people, I guess. <laughs> um, we, uh, after IoT, this isn't allocated, this isn't official yet, but we, had, we have about maybe a thousand left over that we are kind of thinking of giving out in small increments to hobbyists and people who are who kind of need some just to give some validation and we're not really sure of what the process of this should be we're not really sure if that's how much money we should even give to it but uh, you know if, if people have ideas and, and they they say yeah I've got this little startup idea I'm not really sure uh, you know please uh, come to us and talk to us and you know we're, we're looking for people and we also have um, another uh, meetup that we're, we're going to be merging together called Arduino MN and that's going to be our open hardware component. It's more about hacking things and putting things together. So we're going to merge that with this meetup, which is going to be more about 
talk about the business aspects of things and the marketing aspects of things. So if you if you're a hacker and you have an idea, you know, post it online or or come to us. We'll try to connect you up. Um, so what else? Uh, this is what the calendar of different topics for the rest of the year. We've got healthcare next month, creativity, uh, a hackathon in July, crowdfunding, IoT hack, another hackathon in October, and then an air and space. These are some ideas. Um, if people have ideas for events, you know, I thank you very much for filling out surveys up there. But if you have other ideas, you know, contact us. Let us know. Um, this is how I see the uh, Minnesota startup tech culture from the 40s to the 2000s. The U of M, the U.S. government funding a lot of things and kind of working around. And then you had Cray and control data. And then this is this is super generalizing. This is how I see things a little bit more now. As you have more crowdfunding and you know smart things came out of crowdfunding originally, uh, and you have all these meetup groups and organizations. So it's becoming a little more decentralized. So that hopefully will will help improve things. Um, Looking at IoT and how to look at it from a business perspective, you might have seen charts like this where they segment things up. This is all good that, that we're talking about smart homes, but when you go and you think about your own ideas, don't think of this type of chart. Think of this type of chart in terms of money and dollars. So smaller homes, why is smart homes so popular? This is your average uh, annual expenditures um, for an American family. Home housing is the largest expenditure. Okay, so look at expenditures. Here's one about food waste. I saw 25% of food losses happen in the harvesting process in developing countries. A quarter of food gets lost. There's got to be some application. Um, IoT is about eliminating waste and improving efficiencies in a, in a lot of the business models that are out there. Uh, another one was uh, data collection. I saw 52% of errors in data collection due to human error. So how can we eliminate uh, errors in data collection? So. I think that's that's all I wanted to say. Um, next, I wanted to so I, I just want to give that little that's just kind of my spiel and, and what and I hope that that we can all work together to improve our our startup ecosystem here. So uh, so that concludes that part of the.